Hello, crafty friends. This is Linda Gift Diva. Welcome back to my channel. Question for you. Have you ever been overwhelmed by your craft space? Like you have so much stuff and you want to make stuff, but you don't know what to make or where to start or what to do today or any of those things. Well, that's where I am today. It's been a minute since I've actually been down here and had time to do stuff in my craft room. So I'm just walking around looking at all the pretties <laughs> going, what should I do? What should I do? What should I do? I mean, I could start on my craft show. It's not to December. I'm not really quite motivated for that yet, though. But then a light went off and I remembered that Lady Cree, my girl, my sis, sent me a bag of bags. So I went and dug out the bag of bags and she labeled it so that I could find it. <laughs> So y'all, we gon' we are gonna alter up some bags. Stay tuned. Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, this is I didn't mention it earlier, but this is Saturday Morning Makes, hosted by Gerald Norwood uh, with Greenwood Girl Cards. I will leave a link in the description box to her channel, and if you want to play along, you can just use the hashtag SatMornMakes and. Uh, go out there and check out all of the great things that people are doing on Saturday morning. Um, I um, made three bags <laughs> and ran out of steam. It's nuts. I don't know what's going on. And, um, well, I didn't run out of steam. I think I'm going to switch processes. Um, I made, I used napkins and ribbon for these first three. And I think I'm going to try some sublimation or print and cut or something on the next ones. So that will be a separate video. So funny thing, I just watched um, Nalinka Sims channel uh, and Miss Martha used a napkin that I sent to her and I used that same napkin today. <laughs> Great minds think alike, ma'am. <laughs> so I use this napkin too. I use the bunny napkin and I use this multiple scene bunny napkin. And then I used um, this ribbon that I got from Michael's. I thought it was super cute. Not that I need any more ribbon, but I thought it was super cute. And I, it'd be pretty bows for uh, for my Easter baskets. So I thought that would be pretty. Um, so let me show you the first one I made. I'm not sure I like them, y'all. So tell me what y'all think in the description box below, in the comment section below. I'm not sure. I'm not sure I like them. But, you know, it is, they are what they are. So here's my first one with the little banner. I wanted to focus on him. And these little flowers that I got from AliExpress. And these little flowers, I think somebody gifted me these, but I can't remember who. And then, you know, my favorite bling ribbon from Hobby Lobby. And this ribbon back here in the background, this kind of burlapy ribbon, is from uh, Hop, uh, Dollar Tree. Uh, and so I put my little stamp on the back. So that's the first one. The next one is a little Mod Podge, a little fabric Mod Podge, and the napkins. And I just not much podge that napkin on use some anna griffin embellishments and some tool from hobby lobby hobby lobby bling cuddle me tay flowers and just made a cute little bag that you can tuck goodies or gift cards or whatever in for the season and then the last bag is my favorite i do like this bag i call it the band of bunnies <laughs> isn't that cute <laughs> i love the band of bunnies they just look like they're ready to they're ready to get spring on right and so I used some gems that I got from, I think I got these from Griffin Girl. I think that's where these came from. And then I got the uh, this um, pretty lace from AliExpress. And then I just used an Anna Griffin cinnamon on that. But I just wanted to keep it simple because I love the bunnies. Oh, and I used fabric paint. I used this um, I Zinc Diamond um, Glitter Paint that I got from HSN. And you can use this through stencils or just on just as a regular fabric paint, um, t uh, paper, whatever you want. Um, and so I thought I would, this would be my first time trying it. And so I tried it and I think I like it. It came out pretty good. And it doesn't wipe and it doesn't rub off, which is lovely. Once it dries, it's not, you know, flaky glitter. So I love that. Very cute. So I hope you like these bags. And like I said, I will be back with more of them because Lady Cree gifted me, um, uh, I'm in bag heaven because she gifted me so many and plus you already know I have tons in my stash right 
And so um, I want to start decorating them for my craft fair in the fall. And um, so I think, but I think the next set, I didn't want to do too many spring ones since we're running through spring like gangbusters. And before you know it, it'll be summer. Um, so I, I want to do some generic ones like birthday, thinking of you, thank you, those kind, those kind of bags. So stay, I'm rambling. So stay tuned and uh, I will be back. Uh, if you're new here, welcome. Hopefully you liked my crafty content and decided to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. If you like this video, please make sure you like it. If you're already a subscriber, you know how much I love you. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you all had a wonderful Saturday um, and I will catch you on the next video. Oh, I wanted to show you the fabric my podge. That's what I used. I love this stuff uh, for the bags. So uh, again, have a wonderful evening. I will talk to you in the next video. Bye now.